Hello and welcome. This is going to be your bonus reading for the eclipse January 10th, uh, 2020 for the full moon in Cancer and the eclipse. This is for Earth signs, Capricorn, Virgo, and Taurus, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, and Jupiter. So we'll just get straight into it. I've already fully shuffled. I know on the last um, eclipse for you guys, there was a kind of a massive shift that I felt coming through. Um, and in the heart area and just more love. So let's see what we've got. And the full moon will be peaking, I think, around like 11 a.m. or so on Friday the 10th, January 10th. Okay, Capricorn, Virgo, Taurus, first card out we've got is you, the queen of pentacles energy. So I feel after the shift of the last eclipse on Christmas, December 25th, um, and moving, you know, through these two weeks to this eclipse, you've really grounded down and centered yourself around the shift that has happened. So I feel like you've been very focused um, and a little more quiet and a little more introverted, I'm feeling, and kind of just allowing things. So maybe you've slowed down a little bit. Um, and like I said, a little more introspective, a little more quiet to process all of this, and you've just kind of been focused within. I just noticed this pentacle here, and this character is just kind of viewing the pentacle, focusing on that. So, you know, you could be focused more on the home, more on your, you know, what do you want to do in the future, what your plans are for this year, but more of that energy versus the taking action. I don't feel like you've quite gotten to the taking action yet. And then the next two cards out, I've got the Page of Wands and I've got the Ace of Cups. So I definitely feel there's going to be new opportunity coming in for you guys with this, with this eclipse. Um, because it's helped to clear out anything that was in the way that may have been blocking these opportunities, okay? So uh, you may become more aware of passions or desires or hobbies or, you know, creative outlets that you want to get involved with. Anything that really brings you joy. Anything that brings you joy here with the Ace of Cups. So, you know, that will be different for each of you. That could be more family time. That could be more friend time. That could be more you time kind of, you know, doing the hobbies that you love or spending time doing things that you really love. So what is it that brings you joy? That can show up in many different forms, right? But the way these cards fell out, so I just, I'm going to show you all three here. This Queen of Pentacles energy does have the back turned to this Page of Wands and Ace of Cups. So that's kind of telling me that those opportunities and those things are going to be showing up for you, but you're not quite ready. Kind of like I said earlier, you're not ready to take action on them yet. I feel like you're very much in observer mode. You're examining things. You're kind of just in observer mode and seeing how things are going while keeping really centered and grounded. Okay, let me see what else I've got for you here. Earth signs for the eclipse. Yeah, okay, so King of Cups is up after the Ace of Cups. You know, I felt similar energy in the fire reading and the air sign reading and it I think it's just happening globally there's a big opening with the heart energy and the emotions and kind of coming down out of the mental energy so I feel this king of cups that's what that's representing for you this is more of your lover side your romance side your emotional um you know, needs when it comes to connection and emotional fulfillment within partnerships and relationships. 
So you're really like tuning into that. And I feel, you know, that's something that maybe has been blocked for you for quite some time. Earth energy can, can sometimes have very, very stubborn mental energy. And I don't mean that in a bad way. Air signs can have the same thing. Um, actually, fire signs and water signs. We all can have that very strong mental energy. And I feel the shift that's happening is forcing us to come down into the heart center. So you may have a real shake up and wake up in regards to maybe where you've had your emotions closed off or where you've had your heart guarded or where you've been maybe a very hard outer shell and it's been hard for, for those around you to get close to you or to get that emotional connection or that emotional commitment or vulnerability. And I, I feel that's something because of this blindfolded two of swords, I think you weren't even aware that you were being that way. That's the power of the tower moment, and that's the power of the eclipse season. It's the epiphany. It's the aha moment. It's the awakening in realizing a pattern or a behavior that you've been doing without even knowing that you've been doing it until you have the kind of the epiphany and the awareness to see that pattern. And that's when it comes falling and crashing down. And this eclipse for you is really going to help you with that. So anywhere that you've been guarded emotionally, I do feel that is what this eclipse is going to be showing you and in, in where and how to open up a little bit more in that way. Because it's interesting, even at the beginning of the reading, you kind of had your back, you know, I showed you your back was a little bit turned to this Ace of Cups and to this Page of Wands. You know, the passion, the desire, the emotions, um, that inner happiness that the Ace of Cups brings. So this is huge, um, Earth signs. I feel Capricorn, Taurus, Virgo, I feel you're really going to have something that just snaps you out of it. Something huge. And it's going to have to do, because if you look here, this King of Cups, this heart energy, this emotional energy that the King of Cups brings is like staring dead straight at this tower moment. It's almost like you can't hold back your emotions anymore. I feel like there definitely may be some tears released, some emotions released. You could have all different emotions coming up. And remember, emotions are just energy in motion. So they need to flow through us. We need to feel them in order to let them pass and to heal and to, you know, transmute and shift. So if you have emotions come up, it could come in any form of emotions. It could be sadness. It could be anger. It could be crying. It could be happiness. It could be any of those. Really try this week and during this eclipse and this full moon to feel whatever you are feeling. So don't make it wrong. Don't push it away. Um, if you have a day where you just feel really sad and down, let yourself have that day. Tune in. You can ask, where is this coming from? What do I need to see? Show me what, you know, can help this heal. And just be really present to it because I do feel this tower moment. If you've been watching my channel, you know the tower is always a blessing from the universe. So if you haven't been getting the messages or you haven't been doing the work, the universe will bring in a tower moment to help shake things up to get you back on track with the highest and best path for you. It will help shake away anything that no longer serves you. And that's what eclipses do as well. They will force endings. They will remove people, situations, thoughts, patterns that no longer resonate with you. Yes, and it brings in that lighthearted, playful, goofy energy. It's like lifting away. You're breaking out of that hard outer shell. Or that hard outer shell is breaking away. I literally have this vision of like an eggshell cracking. And on the inside is this like soft, gooey, loving energy that not many people get to see in you, earth signs. So if that's true for you, I feel like you're really being given a gift 
to soften up and to let more love in and around you. Yes, I love that. Next out, I've got the lovers. Whoops. Lovers, one more card, please. Eight of Wands, fast moving energy here. So after this tower moment, this is what is coming in for you. Page of Cups, Lovers, Eight of Wands. I mean, this I see connection, lightheartedness, um, joy, happiness, not feeling the heaviness or the fear when it comes to love, when it comes to emotions, when it comes to that more vulnerable connection with another human being like you've been stripped down to your authentic self look at these two characters here they're they're naked they're raw they don't have this hard guarded outer shell here and once that is cleared it's like here's the fast moving energy with the eight of wands the love comes in the messages come in the clarity the movement the action I just feel towards the end of this eclipse and you know moving into next week you guys are going to feel so much lighter, so much more clear. Um, we've also got, I think in the middle of next week, we've got, let me look here, like five planets in Capricorn. So they will be in Earth, an Earth sign. Pluto, Saturn, Mercury, Sun, and Jupiter. All will be in Capricorn in the middle of next week. So Virgo, Taurus, that's gonna affect you guys too because it is in the Earth element here. So that gives a lot of stability for what is going to be moving forward. And this action, this movement, this new feelings and um, opportunities coming in here with this opening, I do feel it's going to be more stable. Because what is, what is shaken away and released during eclipse, on eclipse, is final. Like there's no going back. There's no resurfacing, like it is complete, it's over, it's done, it's finished. So that means for you moving forward, this energy is going to be a lot easier to stick around. So the heart is going to be more open. I just feel there's going to be more emotions, more love, more romance, more of those feel-good feelings. Less, you know, less being guarded. All right, let me clarify the tower card. Yeah, it's, you've been resisting this for a long time and that's why the universe has had to come in and step in and help. So the seven of wands is inner resistance. So if you look now, this tower, look at what it's surrounded by. Blindfolded and resistance. You haven't wanted to see this, and I think you weren't capable or able to see it. So it's not your fault. It's just where you've been on your path and on your journey. But it's like this mind energy, the ego, it is being softened definitely being softened and the fear around that I feel is going away also beautiful reading okay let me clarify the lovers here <laughs> the temperance card both of these are about balance and healing I love this the temperance really brings patience healing, balance in body, mind, and spirit. And it's also the blending of extremes. So the blending of masculine and feminine energies, light and dark, um, male and female. So it's similar to the lover's card. You've got to have balance here. It's like the ultimate balance. You can't have masculine without also having feminine. It's the yin and the yang. And the temperance card really brings that blending of two extremes into a happy medium. So that can also be the blending of mind and heart energy, right? Meeting in the middle so that both are being utilized, but one is not dominating. Really beautiful. Um, okay, let me see if there's anything else to clarify. Okay. 
Okay, so clarifying the Page of Cups, I've got the Death card. Yeah, this is a new beginning of you guys being able to be more vulnerable emotionally, which is huge for Earth signs, Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn. I mean, this is huge for you. And the cycle here, it's like the cycle is coming to an end. The shift is happening. The karmic cycle is ending. If there's karma that you've been working through that is part of this tower moment, you're going to be clear and free from that. And remember, you're moving forward with action here. So there will be no slowing down earth signs, I feel, after this eclipse. Awesome, awesome reading. Okay, let me see if there's any other messages for earth signs. Beautiful. Okay, the last message, surprise, surprise, spiritual growth. That's what this is about. It's increasing the awareness. With more awareness comes, you know, your ability to see your own patterns, to grow, to shift, to, you know, ascend more easily, which we are all being forced to kind of grow. That's the, that's the, the universe. That's what we're doing right now. We're ascending, we're growing. We're all being forced to let go of some of this stronger mental energy and tune more into the heart, more authentic, more speaking our truth and living our truest path. So earth signs, you guys are right in alignment with that. Beautiful reading. I hope that resonates for you. Um, thank you for the comments below the video. I absolutely love reading uh, your comments. So thank you for taking the time to do that. Um, for those of you who don't know, I am a master energy therapist and I specialize in distance energy healing and therapy. So it doesn't matter where you live in the world. I literally have clients all around the globe at this point, which I'm beyond grateful for. Um, we'd schedule according to your time zone. So no need to worry there. And this is my full-time work. So thank you guys for keeping me so busy week after week after week. Um, I'm just grateful to be working directly for Spirit for almost two years now. March will be my two-year kind of anniversary with doing this full-time. So thank you for being a part of my journey. Um, normally, I give a 15% discount for um, first-time energy clients or your very first energy session with me. For the launch of 2020 and being an eclipse season, I am offering you a 20% discount off your very first energy session with me or as a first-time energy client. So you can absolutely take advantage of that. I hope that's helpful for you in some way. Uh, the link is below with all the information on my website. And it's a really powerful time to be getting any sort of energy work done right now. Uh, you know, we are shedding old layers. We are clearing things out. And the energy session is really going to support you in letting go of what you no longer need, bringing you into, a, into balance um, and just in alignment with your highest and best self. So again, all the information is below as well as the 20% discount. And I think that's it. So I'm wishing you a wonderful full moon in Cancer and a beautiful close out to eclipse season for now. Um, check back next week for your weekly bump uh, readings. And beginning of February, I will have the new full month readings out for each of the 12 signs. So that's it, Earth Signs. Take care. Bye.